what's up youtube welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time my name is shamaya if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn that post notification bell on for today's video we're going to be looking at my bookshelves i have two bookshelves that has books on it and then i'm going to show you those two so let's go ahead and get right into this video first things first i apologize this is the first 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 saturday that i did not upload a video i just i wasn't feeling it i think i'm in a book slump a little mini one nothing crazy i just wanted to i read a lot of let me just say this pause before i get to rambling i read a lot of books this month a lot of books and i think i got overwhelmed with how much i was reading and i wasn't giving my time i wasn't giving myself time to actually think about the books and let it sink in and show everything that was going on inside the books so i was like out of it i want to read at least two more books for this month at least two am i pushing myself no but i want to read at least two more books this month hopefully i get there you guys will see in the next video because that will be thursday's video so let's go ahead and get right into this video so first thing first once you walk in my house let me fix this once you walk in my house there is a bookshelf as soon as you walk in it's like you see the bookshelf like as soon as you walk in the door so here's that bookshelf this bookshelf right here consists of fantasy hardcovers a little i don't know what genre to put this this is like one of my like she's like one of my favorite authors kind of sort of so i just put her books here because i wanted to be on display low-key like i like this so you're gonna have shatter me this is one of my favorite series as well so that is there as well so i have the mind f series that's here too st abby go read it you won't regret it so here's what we have first so first we have iron flame fourth wing holiday edition regular fourth wing tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow um i have not read this yet but this is a hardcover and it's just like weird on the other shelves so i took it off and put it here but i think i might actually end up reading it for the month of march who knows anyways then we have blood mark hardcover then we have divine rivals then we have rufus vows then up here we have Legendborn and Bloodmark. I did end up getting the special edition of Bloodmark. Look at this beautiful spray edges. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then we have The Cruel Prince, Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing. Those are the Holly Black Cruel Prince series. I just read these as well. So all of the books that is on these bookshelves, side note, is books that I've already read. So let's just name that. Except for tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. And you guys will see some books up here. These are my unhauling books. I don't feel the need for them. So yeah. The next shelf. So second shelf, we have Jennifer Lynn Barnes YA series that I have so far. This is the Hawthorne, the Inheritance Games. Hawthorne Legacy, Final Gambit, and the fourth book. I am waiting until the paper the paperback comes out because I am a paperback girly. I'm not a hardback girly. Paperback girly. Then we have the Naturals, Killer Instinct, All In, and Bad Blood, which is still the same author. Which I love to have her books on display. Like, I just feel like it just goes. Like, it goes. Then we have the Mind F series. Then we have Penelope Douglas Corrupted. This is Dark Romance. I am going to end up starting a shelf for Dark Romance because I am picking up some Dark Romance books. So, yeah. Am I going to read the second book to this? I'm not sure. I might pick it up on a fluke, but am I really? do I really want to read it? I'm not sure. Then we have Shadow Me. And the rest of the series is going to stack up here because that series has a lot of books to it. I think it's like eight books with the novellas eight or nine books or something like that so yeah then we have a thriller section which is down here we have holly jackson we have the a good girl's got a murder we have good girl bad blood as good as dead and killer joy which is a small novella that goes after all of those books 
then we have my girl you know i love me so free to make fat and i am trying to oh sorry i am trying to finish all of her books so my goal by this here is to read every free to make fatted book that she possibly has so yes yeah. so we have the housemaid housemaid secret silent patient by alex i don't know his last name mel diaz i don't know what it is i'm not gonna lie to y'all we got a flicker in the dark this was actually like my first 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 like thriller suspense novel and i actually loved it y'all like this is such a beautiful book i think i'm gonna get my boyfriend to read this book this book was really good really really good um then we have the perfect marriage another great book i absolutely love this is a psychological suspense wild psychological suspense um i do need to get some book ends so that these books can stop falling it makes me so angry that they like to fall so that's all of the books that's on this bookshelf right here y'all sorry about that it's just doing what it wants to do um yeah it's all the books on this bookshelf right here i am adding to this bookshelf february was a fantastic month so this bookshelf might be actually full by the time i get finished with putting my actual books that i've read in there so now i'm going to take you guys to my second bookshelf now my second bookshelf is like directly across from this one so like there's a wall and this like directly across is where my second bookshelf is so let's go ahead and head over there all right so now we're back and we're looking at the second bookshelf here is the second bookshelf this bookshelf is like i don't know y'all like this bookshelf is not like a price i don't know this bookshelf it's, I don't like this bookshelf. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't like this bookshelf. This is not what I wanted to see from this bookshelf. This bookshelf ended up being smaller than I thought it was going to be. So it's like I can't fit as many books on here as I would like. So it's just like a... It's a problem to me. So I'm like... Uh. So I did what I could do while I could do it. So yeah. But the first thing first, we have Lauren Asher series. The Billionaire... I want to read all of Lauren Asher books, y'all. My goal, another goal I have was to read all of her books. Her books are so fantastic. Then we have Magnolia Parks. I am in the middle of reading that series as well. I read the first one. You guys will see if I read the second one for February or not. Then we have Icebreaker. I've read the first one. I cannot wait for the next one to come out. I actually think I like this series. Then we have Chasing Love. I found this book on TikTok on a whim and i absolutely love this book this book was fantastic it's like brother no best friend's brother that's what it is best friend's no brother's best friend brother's best friend is here then we have anna wong we have the twisted series bomb 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 dot com when i tell y'all bomb series bomb series i loved it then we have Sarah Adams, Practice Makes Perfect and When in Rome. I like Practice Makes Perfect better than When in Rome, personally, my opinion. Uh, some people just like it all together. Now, people be like, oh, well, you can read it standalone. No, I don't suggest you do that because what happens in the first book, you need to know what happens for the second book because it will spoil something else for you. So I think you should just read it in order. When in Rome, then it goes Practice Makes Perfect then down here we have another fantasy show i'm thinking about moving no i'm not looking over there i'm gonna leave that bookshelf alone because i like the way that bookshelf looks but we have harry potter series i am almost done y'all i promise i'm almost done i just have not gotten to it I, i'm almost done i'm on book six i have to get to book six march that's a goal but we've read one through five here and here we have read the first and the second book and i'm trying to get this series done i had liked the third book the third book was great i'm gonna i'm gonna say that the third book was great to me i loved it needless to say then we have a bottom shelf this bottom shelf consists of romance reads a little christmas here area um in a holidays by christina lauren it's december to remember holiday switch you make 
it feel like Christmas, the Christmas fix. I actually love the Christmas fix, y'all. The Christmas fix was so good. The Christmas fix was definitely good. Uh, then we have a couple of Christina Lauren, Kennedy Ryan, Allie Hazelwood, Abby Hernandez, Colleen Hoover, Carly Fortune, and Emily Henry. And that's basically all the books that I have read between 2020 three and 2024 so if you would like to continuously get updates on my bookshelves and how i fill them up this year make sure you hit that subscribe button you like and you turn that post notification bell on and i will see you guys in the next video which comes out on thursday remember guys videos every tuesday thursday saturday tuesday thursday saturday tuesday thursday saturday videos every day I really enjoyed seeing you guys today. If you enjoy, you know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.